Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel, it's White Shadow. And today guys, we're gonna be talking about NVIDIA RTX once again, and uh, kind of what's been going on lately with the RTX 20 series. Let's go ahead and have a talking head chat about it. All right, so the RTX 20 series is out on the market and they are some of the best GPUs that we have ever seen. Able to play 4K, 60 frames per second. They're some of the most powerful GPUs in existence today. It's pretty hype, right? Unfortunately not. Unfortunately, some of these cards are dying at a very alarming rate right now. We're gonna have a little chat about it and see what you guys think in the comment section a little bit later in the video kind of talk, have a chat about like what the heck is actually going on and it's not just a handful of cards that are going bad right now guys it is literally hundreds i've actually gone online to a few of the forums from like alinus tech tips nvidia forums evga forums so on and so forth reddit is one of the um, main ones out there people aren't happy a lot of people are very unhappy with the rate that these cards are dying and like i said it's in the literal hundreds hundreds of people are reporting that their nvidia rtx 20 series and this is the 2070 the 2080 and the 2080 ti the entire release amount of cards right now are going bad so let's go ahead and break down everything that i have found online through either sources or on the forums about nvidia rtx failure rate so what's been happening with the cards is there are multiple threads and forums. These are just people reporting in. These cards are failing anywhere from like blue screens, display issues. They're showing a ton of artifacting and you can't get rid of it. Uh, overheating, the fans aren't working or the fans are sporadically speeding up and then stopping. Or sometimes the cards just flat out stop working for no rhyme or reason. This was originally thought to just have affect the Founders cards, but it has also been making its way into some of the third-party cards, specifically the ones from Gigabyte and Asus. There are a couple more reports of third-party cards from like MSI, uh, PNY, and EVGA, but the majority of third-party cards are kind of Asus and Gigabyte right now. Now, this makes me believe that this could be an architectural problem, but we'll talk about that a little bit later in the video. Some users are even claiming that they've only had the card for a couple weeks. Now you tell me, if you went out and purchased a 2080 Ti right now, which retails for right around 899 bucks, would you be happy if your card broke in two weeks? Absolutely not. Failures start to happen after a even a couple weeks. That's, that's not too great here, guys. Some users have additionally been disgruntled by what they claim is a demand they pay for the return shipping when sending the card back for a warranty exchange. Now, NVIDIA has stated this isn't true, and that is a he said, she said issue. Everybody's pointing fingers at each other, but NVIDIA has stated that this is untrue, that they always ship a return label. At this point, I don't really know who to trust at this right now because there's so many people mad at each other. They're all pointing fingers, so we're just going to let that one lie. But that is an issue as well with the return process. The people that are getting these warranty cards back are also stating that their warranty replacements are going bad and they're having to contact NVIDIA again to get new cards sent back out for a third time. That's crazy. So that, that immediately tells me that this could potentially be an architectural issue with the NVIDIA Turing GPU, which is the GPU that is on the new RTX line of NVIDIA graphics cards. And like I said, this is affecting 2070s, 2080s, and 2080Ti's. And for this to be happening in such rapid succession right now, this reminds me of the same issue that we saw with the Samsung Galaxy Note series. Same thing is happening. There is some sort of issue underlying on this graphics card that is making these th things fail at an alarming rate. And it's not just a handful, it's hundreds, if not thousands at this point. I, I couldn't tally up all of the things that I saw on online forums. In my opinion, this means NVIDIA rushed the RTX series card. Now you're probably asking yourself, why am I making this video? Why am I talking to streamers about this? Well, because I have been personally hyping up NVIDIA RTX for quite some time. And NVIDIA RTX was a pretty awesome graphics card for streamers and content creators out there. That's the whole point of me making these videos to kind of tell you guys what you can or shouldn't use for your stream and to enhance your production value. NVIDIA RTX was one of those things that helped you with enhance your production value. And now they're failing at an alarming rate and I feel responsible for telling you guys you should probably not buy it now. So NVIDIA rushed these cards to the market. 
is what I think. And I think they were just trying to capitalize on this new technology that they created or try to bring the RTX line um, to us at an earlier time saying, hey, we're going to have ray tracing next year. We're going to have DLSS next year. These cards are going to be great for streamers because the tensor cores and all of the extra cores that we have added on to do ray tracing can also be used for encoding your stream. Okay, that's great and all. But if you didn't enhance the architecture to the point where it's ready for the end, end user, the consumer, the prosumer, or the professional out there that needs to use this graphics card in order to render or encode a stream, then why'd you release it? I have an issue with this because these cards cost so much. People are having these things fail on them after a couple of weeks. And all, a lot of people have been very hyped for RTX because they do offer a level of performance that we haven't seen before. They are the most technologically advanced graphics cards we've ever seen hit the market. But I feel like Nvidia is trying to stick to that yearly release cycle and just push stuff out and yeah, push it out to the market, we'll fix it later. That doesn't fly anymore in the PC game, especially when you have AMD breathing down your neck coming out with the new Vega 20 card that's promising a lot more performance than what we saw with the original release of Vega. That was just a teaser. So if Nvidia can fix this and kind of bring those prices down a little bit and make everybody happy, yeah, that's going to be great. Otherwise, we're going to see AMD come in, bring down the price, offer more performance than what Nvidia has, or capitalize on Nvidia's mistake here, and you're going to have a huge player in the game from AMD, which I would personally like to see because AMD did that in the CPU market, the processor market against Intel. So yes, I would like to see AMD do that. But for a Nvidia to have this sort of an issue, it goes back to what I've been saying about I think everybody needs to slow down and stop trying to pump out tech every year. I'm going to leave this open for discussion for you guys out there in the comment section. What do you guys think? Do you think Nvidia rushed the RTX series to the market and if you do leave a comment in the comment section or if you got one of you guys in the comment section have purchased one of these cards and are having issues let me know down there as well or if you're about to purchase a new graphics card let me know if this is going to sway your decision on what you need to purchase and keep in mind guys all of the 10 series cards are starting to go out of stock so we also have a big problem with supply and demand on our hands here too or are you just going to buy a competitor's graphics card and call it a day let me know in the comment section what you guys think i'd like to keep this as an open discussion but guys that about does it for this video if you want to follow myself or true gaming on any of our social media platforms all of those links are down there below i will leave a link to some of my sources down below as well because I did get this information from other sites and some of the forums that I was um, browsing on and talking to people on. But guys, like I said, that about does it for this video. Come hang out with me on stream sometime. Let's talk tech together, play a couple games. And uh, until next time, guys, I'll see you in the next video. My shadow out.